All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another rugby related video. Today's video has been inspired by my oncoming season. I play fullback in the game of rugby league. I want to tell you guys a few fundamentals behind the position that allow me to play to the best of my ability. So we're going to run through the skill set that you need. We're going to run through gameplay situations, where you want to be on the field, spacing, things like that. And I'm also just going to give you my own individual spin on how I like to play the position. So with that said, let's get into it. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Alright, so, you know, regardless of whether it's fullback in rugby league or rugby union, it really doesn't matter. The skills that you need for that position are fundamentally the same. You need to be able to catch the ball. You need to have good space awareness. You need to have speed. You need to have agility. You need to be able to read the game. You need to be able to kick the ball. And you need to be able to tackle. So there's a lot of skills involved. It's not, the position, it's not a position for the faint-hearted, but it's a very, very exciting position and it allows you to really open up your game and play freely, but in a controlled manner. And that's why I like it. So if we're talking about gameplay, we're talking about rugby league. Rugby league's a little bit different because of the fact that the play restarts after every tackle. So as a fullback, you have that opportunity to sort of reset yourself, have a look at what's going on and assess what you want to do. All right, so let's talk about defense first. So on D, as a fullback, you've really got to be aware of what your team's doing. If the opposition breaks through your line of defense, just imagine it, they break through, I've got momentum, your team has to turn around and chase. Your wingers are probably coming back already, but it's gonna be on you, man, it's gonna be on you. And if you don't feel like you can take that guy down one-on-one, -on -one, it's gonna be up to you to shepherd him to either side of the field to then get help from your wingers and from your players coming back. So that's where the space awareness comes into play. If you're a good tackler, take him down. If you're not, use that. In the game of league, at the end of a set, the other team will most probably kick it. In which case, the fullback is most probably gonna be the one that picks up the ball. So you've really gotta be switched on. You need to practice taking high balls. If you're down at training, if you're a fullback, and you're by yourself, you don't even need anyone else. Just give yourself high balls, give yourself high balls, practice, practice, practice catching the ball. Have someone do a ground grubber to you, have someone chip kick to you, because those kicks coming from the attacking team, you don't know what they're gonna do. They could be rolling around on the ground. The last thing you want is for it to like go between your legs or something stupid like that. You need to have your hands ready, you need to have practiced, you need to be confident, and it's very important. So, the last thing I'll say about defense is how, how far back do you wanna be? I mean, you don't want to be too far back, you don't want to be, you know, 50, 60 metres back. You most probably, if I'm going to put a number on it, you most probably want to be between 20 and 30 metres behind your defensive line. So then if they do break through, you don't have to sort of sprint up too far to get to the defender. You can, you can really condense the space that they have to run in and get the help from your other players that you need. And, uh, you know, you'll be in a much better position to take them down. You don't want to be too far back. If they break through, they've got way too much space to, to play in and you're going to get there late. So as well as that, you're going to have to choose exactly how far across the field you want to be on defence. Now, obviously a fullback covers the entire width of the field. So with that being said, if the play is you know, relatively in the centre, you want to be in the centre of the field. You want to be communicating with your wings at all times. If you get to the fourth tackle and your wingers have not dropped back yet, Tell them to drop back, get talking. You back three should be working together at all times in this game. So that is defense. Now we get to the exciting part, which is attack. This is the part that I love. This is the part that you can really, really start to expand your game as a fullback and start to play the way you really want to play. So with that said, it's got to be measured once again. You can't be, you can't, you know, you can't be over this side of the field when you're needed over this side of the field. So in rugby league, you're defending as the fullback, you might take a kick from the attacking team, you take the kick, you take the first hit up, right? Usually, the ones who are the least tired will then come in and take hit up number two and hit up number three, and usually that is either a winger or yourself as a fullback. So if you don't take that kick, if you don't take that catch and you don't take the first run up, make sure you're there for the second run or the third run. It's gonna be your job to really truck that ball up. Now you do need to give your forwards a break at some point. And so if the ball comes back into your half, 
all your forwards are still up there, they turn around, they're not going to sprint back, they're not, there's no point, they're already tired, they've been trucking the ball up, been tackling heaps, they're not going to run up there, they're going to stay there basically and just wander back, so it's going to be up to you guys as the back three to truck that ball up. Now this is where the exciting part happens, if you get that ball, you look up, the first thing you're going to do is look up, you grab that ball back in your half, you look up, you see what's happening in the field, you see if there's any holes, you see if you've got support with you, you might have one defender from the other team that's, that's raced up, which is bad, it's a bad thing because that leaves holes. As a defensive line, you never want to be racing up out of the line because that leaves holes for attackers, like the fullback, like the wingers, to run straight through. So we don't want to do that, but if the defending team does come up like that, it's a fullback's paradise, mate. It's a fullback and a winger's paradise. All you have to do is draw and pass to this guy. Now you've got yourself with the winger running up the field. You just continue drawing and passing other defenders as they come to you. And uh, who knows, you might end up scoring. But I do want to talk about just general gameplay and when and where you should be in the line. So on defense, yes, you're always back. You've always got to keep that space between you and the defensive line. But on attack, that's when you can start coming up in the attacking line. Okay, I would say if you're playing fullback for the first 10-15 minutes of the game, stay back, stay that 20 or 30 meters back, even if you are attacking, just in case you lose the ball and the defensive team, you know, gets a runaway or something like that, you, you do need to be back. But once once the sort of the game starts getting into the groove of things, you start seeing gaps open up, you start seeing holes, and you can do that. I mean as a as a fullback, you're pretty much like a shepherd. You know, you've got your entire team in front of you doing moves, looking for holes, breaking tackles, things like that, you can see everything. You can really start to see the openings, you can start to see the weak links in the defence. And with that being said, then you can start to insert yourself in the line, start poking around different places. Let's say your forwards are pretty dominant, they're breaking tackles, they're getting tackled but they're breaking like the first couple and they're having their hands free, alright, but then they're, then they're going to ground. Those are the places that you want to be. You want to be right there. When the forward breaks that first tackle, he might break a second one. As he's going down, he gets his arm free, he does a little pop to you that's coming zooming through, and you're away. A guy that does this all the time to great effect is Billy Slater. He's the fullback for Melbourne Storm, he's the fullback for Queensland, he's the fullback for Australia, and he's most likely the greatest fullback of all time. He's always there, and that's what makes him such a great player. But that takes fitness. You need to be able to do sprints, you need to be able to sprint constantly you know, 40, 50 meter bursts over and over again in the game. So with that being said, fitness is a huge thing for fullback. But, you know, thinking back to my own game, I really enjoy it once I get into the game, I've, I've, I've made a few tackles, I've seen where the gaps are opening up, I've seen my forwards sort of start breaking through and then I'm like, right, now it's time to play. And then I start getting up in the line, looking for the ball, helping out my team where I can. Obviously, if the ball gets turned over, you're straight back, and that is, that's, that's being a fullback. That, my friends, is my take on playing fullback in the game of rugby league. Now remember, it's my take. I've not watched any other videos on YouTube about how to play fullback. This is my opinion. Take it for what you will. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, or you think other people need to see this, please hit the like button. Better yet, subscribe. If not, I'm sure I will see you guys back here for another video very soon. All right, stay cool.